from my back porch for the Discovery Center Stay at Home Art Series. This is funded by the Tennessee Arts Commission Arts Builds Communities Grant. I hope that you will join me as I share some ideas for making art with recycled materials. We'll be building a dream house and other fun things. Stay happy and healthy. See you soon. Hey everybody, this is Abby coming to you from my back porch for the Discovery Center Art at Home series. Today I'd like to do a project with you all. It's called Batik. Batik is a method of traditionally painting with wax on 100% cotton fabric and the wax acts like a resist for when you add dye. This method comes from the country of Indonesia and in Indonesia they have traditional patterns of geometric patterns that are different shapes and also patterns that they take from nature. Today we're going to create our own patterns and you'll use your creativity to come up with your own ideas. You might want to draw animals or flowers or maybe you also just want to draw shapes. Whatever you'd like to do. We have to gather our supplies first. You're going to need a fabric scrap. This is just a piece of white cotton fabric. If you think that you'd like to wear your batik, you could also get a plain white t-shirt. You'll also need cardboard. I have just laid my fabric on top of my cardboard. If you use a t-shirt, you'll need to put the cardboard in between the two layers of fabric. Next, an important item that we're going to need is this washable gel glue. This can be found at any like Walmart, probably any drugstore, Target. Now I will go over some alternative methods later for if you don't have these supplies, but we're gonna start with these first. You'll also need some fabric paint or acrylic paint because we want the color to be permanent on our fabric. Another item that you could use is adding some food coloring to water. That would also be permanent. I have a cup full of water, I have some cups for my paint, and I have some paint brushes. So the first thing we need to do to start the project is you're going to draw with your glue on here. So if you want to, you could always sketch ahead of time. I'm just going to think of maybe doing some flowers and I'm just going to do it right onto my fabric. So I just need to open up my glue. and squeeze out my design. There's a couple spots right here where it looks like I missed getting glue, so I'm just gonna go back over that. Now this glue, once it's dry, is going to resist my paint. You'll want to leave this to dry overnight before you add your paint. So I've got some flowers here. And it's just kind of random how I'm doing this. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside to dry overnight. Here I have a piece of fabric where I just drew some circles with my glue, and this one is dry, you can see. And you can see where this blue glue is, which is helpful. So I have put some of my fabric paint into a cup, and the fabric paint's really thick. And I think for this project, I'd like it to have more of a watercolor effect, so I'm going to water down my fabric paints. Just gonna add some water to my cups of paint and I'm going to give them a good stir before I try and paint with them. So when you wash away the glue later, the lines where your glue is is going to be white. So you, I'm just going to paint my fabric like this. and you want to fill in all the white areas. You can paint right over the glue because the paint will not go under where the glue is. So 
switch my colors out. So when you use fabric paint, it has something in it that keeps it soft on your fabric. If you do use acrylic paint thinned with water, it will work just fine. It, your fabric may be a little bit stiffer after it is washed. If you do not have fabric paint or acrylic paint or food coloring, you can soak magic markers in a cup of water to make your own paint. Now that will not be permanent. So you will want to leave your glue lines on there because if you went to wash it, the marker would likely wash out of your fabric. So you get the idea that I would want to finish painting this fabric so you could no longer see any of the white. I have a piece here that I painted where I drew with my glue and I created this fish. For I let it dry overnight, then I used the fabric paint. I let that dry overnight. And then this morning I was able to wash this piece of fabric in hot water and scrub it with my fingers and the glue came right off. So here is my fish batik done with the gel glue. Now another alternative if you are not able to find this glue is to mix a half a cup of flour and a half a cup of water into a paste, fill some type of a squeeze bottle and paint your lines just like you would have if you'd had the glue. After you let the flour and water dry and then you paint your design, the following day you would want to just knock the flour and water off of your fabric. So that is an alternative if you cannot get your hands on this. If you have an opportunity, you can Google Batik Designs Indonesia and you can see some beautiful kinds of fabric. We would also love to see what you create at home with your glue designs. So please send your pictures to the Discovery Center. Everybody stay happy and healthy.